If you've signed up for a wetsuit legal race, you gotta practice in that wetsuit. And if you don't have access to a lot of open water or you don't wanna haul your wetsuit to the pool, then I have the training tool solution for you. Hey, it's Coach Eric bringing you another free weekly video on a mistake that I have made in triathlon and passing lessons learned onto you. Today is another segment of products that should sponsor me, but don't. And I have received no uh, monetary affiliation whatsoever, but the training tool I have today is the Roca Sim Pro 2 wetsuit shorts. So I looked into these shorts as a training tool because uh, perhaps like you, almost all of my swimming is done in the pool. And you know, once or twice I've taken my full wetsuit to the pool, but it's just this big ordeal, a huge hassle. And I, I don't want to use my wetsuit with the chlorine in the pool and just, I don't want to do that as much as possible. And so when I do some races, um, the wetsuit wouldn't feel as comfortable on me, especially around like the hips area because it really pushes your hips up. And so I'd actually get out of the swim and sometimes after that, after that wetsuit swim, and I get like some cramping in my quad or my hips would feel really tight on the bike. And I really felt like it was uh, causing a negative performance. And I just feel like I just wasn't using the wetsuit enough. My, my body and muscle memory wasn't there, even though I'd been swimming three, 4,000 yards, uh, you know, in potential workouts, but it was all in the pool. So Roca calls the SIM a real practical wetsuit triathlon and swimming training tool because just by wearing the shorts, it gives you that lift up body position that a wetsuit would do. I would have to agree with that. And what else it does is that this is actually designed to wear in the pool. So you get that wetsuit feeling and body position, but you don't overheat from wearing your full sleeve wetsuit in an 80 degree pool. Okay, so Roca says this kind of does three main things that I happen to agree with. So number one, when you use this, you don't need a pull buoy because it lifts the hips like a pull buoy is supposed to do. But the really cool part is you can actually kick. So it's more simulating how you'd actually be when you're actually in a triathlon. Number two, it gives you a little bit of warmth and I'm not talking about in the pool. Well, it does that, but it doesn't cause overheating. But especially this time of year when it's cold in the winter, uh, you're in the Southwest, we're outside swimming still, but I remember days in Pittsburgh where you're trudging through the snow to get to an indoor heated pool and it was still freezing. And so as you kind of are watching the icebergs float by before you jump in the water, this does provide a little extra warmth that helps you warm up uh, those, those glute and uh, quad muscles a little bit faster when you first jump in. And number three, and probably most importantly, is that it gets that muscle memory going where, you know, for me, and here's my body in the pool, right? So I'm kind of like sinking like this. Well, when I put these shorts on, I pop up like that and it puts that pressure, you know, a little bit, that tightness like a wetsuit would on your hips uh, and hip flexors there. And so my muscles start to get used to that. And the first couple times I wore them, I was a little bit, little bit sore, just like when I've worn a wetsuit and you try to swim for 20, 30 minutes. So there's a little bit of getting used to, uh, but it caused that muscle memory. And so then on race day, when I wore the wetsuit and jumped out of the water, I didn't have that sort of cramping and tightness that I've had in the past. So it really does become a race specific uh, training workout. Okay, so we give you a little closer view. So it's the full uh, neoprene and it's got some uh, coloring here. So if your coach is on the pool deck, they can sort of see what, what uh, body parts are doing what and how you're rotating and so on. Um, but definitely is the wetsuit neoprene um, and water will get in here, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty tight, pretty solid. Um, and uh, there is a drawstring, so you can make it a little bit tighter, a little bit looser. Uh, and the sizing really is true to fit. Uh, they have a sizing recommendation, and at least for me, um, the, the waist size I normally wear with my pants was the waist size that I got with this. <laughs> I had one athlete ask me, does this replace your swimsuit? Can you just wear nothing under this? And you know, I don't know if that's on the website, maybe ask Roka, but uh, I interpret this as a, a wetsuit, and I do wear tri shorts or swim shorts under my wetsuit, so I would definitely recommend something under this. But hey, it's yours, you do what you want. And then once you're finished, you just give it a good rinse in cool water each time. Um, and it really is made for the pool and made for chlorine, but you do want to rinse it to you know, maximize the lifespan of these shorts. Now at regular price, these babies will set you back about 120 bucks plus free shipping. Um, so uh, they are a little pricey. Um, but again, if you're using it as a training tool and wearing it multiple times a week or not having to drive you know, 45 minutes to get to the pool in the open water to try out your wetsuit more frequently. Um, it can be a savings that way, but uh, they're not the cheapest thing, but uh, I've had them for about six months, so they've held up really great so far. 
Um, but if they last for years and years, then I think it's really worth the price. Okay, so the Roka Swim Pro 2 to sum up, really is a training tool for the pool that gets your body in the correct position and muscle memory uh, engagement for how it's gonna be on race day when you're wearing that wetsuit. And if you're out in the open water all the time wearing a wetsuit, you probably don't need this. But for us pool swimmers, 95% of the time, it can be a great tool. Check it out yourself. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Tell Roka to sponsor me or you if you're really fast. And until next week, I'll see you on the trails. So Roka says this does three main things that I agree with. Number one, 